Hi, my name is JT. I'm Evan. And welcome to G Club. Today we're going to be going back to feudal Japan where the samurai and the ronin exist. And we're going to be looking at the game called Showdown by New Experience Workshop Games. So let's get this game to the table, see how it plays, and we'll come back and give you our thoughts. Showdown is a re-implementation of the game called Shootout, the high noon card game. But it's really not just a re-implementation, but kind of an expansion onto the universe. So we're going to put Shootout away, and we'll talk about how you can use that later on. In the meantime, we're just going to focus here on Showdown. In Showdown, you are attempting to get a hand of cards that are going to be made up of notoriety, title, weapons, and even special or dual cards. The weapons, title, and notoriety cards are your basic hand that you're trying to put together to have the best hand to take out your opponent. You'll notice up at the top left hand corner there's a 10 here, a 1 there, and a 4 here. So this hand would be worth 15 points. There are other cards that are special cards such as this taxation card. These tend to change up hands, mess with other players, or allow you to get special bonuses. There are also wild cards. Uh, these cards will allow you to be able to use them as either a title, a weapon, or notoriety when you go to play it. Then there are these beautiful duel cards, where you get to choose another player to have a duel with. Each one of these duel cards has something different to them. So in a regular duel, you just choose another player to have a duel with. In a forbidden duel, you'll choose another player to have a duel with, and each of you discard a card. In a faded duel, you'll choose another player to have a duel with, but then you will draw a card. If you're familiar with Shootout, the high noon card game, a lot of this will feel pretty familiar. Um, but let's just show how it sets up and plays. Alright, so um, you're going to give everybody five cards. Okay, on a player's turn, uh, they're going to flip the top card over, see if there's any instructions here of being discarded. In this case, it's just a student, so nothing to worry about there. Um, and then I will draw a card and then we will discard a card. In this case, I'm going to play Taxation. Uh, if I discard a card on my turn, uh, if I discard this card on my turn, each player is going to discard one card, then draws a card. The player who discarded the card with the highest bonus then gets to draw two cards. So uh, I'm going to discard a card here. Uh, I'm going to do this Wild 4 and draw a card. And Evan will discard a 5 and draw a card. But because he had the higher of the two, he gets to draw two cards and discard two cards. one and there's two and so then Evan will take his turn he will flip the top card over he will then draw a card and then he will then discard a card okay and we will continue doing this flipping over that top card drawing a card and discarding a card until we get somebody to actually discard a duel and that will cause us to be able to jump into a showdown okay so let's say that i'm ready to go and i want to throw down with evan so i'm going to discard this duel card and choose another player to have a duel with and i'm going to have a duel with evan so here we go um i'm going to choose a notoriety a weapon and a title uh so i'm going to go with the surf for my title legendary for my notoriety and then I've got these two weapons. Um, typically, I, I'm only allowed to use one, but I'll use this sword. But it says if this card is in play during a showdown, you may play a second weapon. Same thing with this uh, old ninja star. So I'm going to play both of them down. And aha, I have two weapons. And I will take you out, Evan. And so I have 15 uh, plus one is 16 here. And I'm ready to go. And that's a pretty strong hand in my mind. So I'm ready to take him on. So let's see what Evan plays. So Evan's going to play a channeling card. Uh, let's take a look at this one. It says, at the beginning of the showdown, play this card to draw two cards, then discard a card. So he's going to be able to now add more cards to his hand. Uh, and let's see what he plays out for us. Okay. He discards a student. All right. So now he's going to play a wanted card. 
He's playing a Swordsmith, so that's his notoriety and his title. So he has 15 right now. If he gets two more, he can win. And what else you got? And he's going to play Mysticism. And Mysticism says, At the end of the showdown, add plus one to your tally for every special card you played the showdown and left in your hand. Now he hasn't played any special cards other than the one channeling card, so he's going to get a plus one for that. And a plus one for this one. Does he have any other special cards in his hand? No, he does not. So, this lands us at what? 17. So, Evan wins 17 to 16. So, as the loser, uh, I am going to be out of the game if we're playing a multiplayer game. If we're playing uh, in a multiple player game, or excuse me, in a two player game, uh, we would be able to just go the best of three or the best of five. Um, Evan would then discard his entire hand. And he would drop a new hand of five cards, and then we would move on to the next round um, of play. Play will continue until enough duels have happened to either eliminate all players or to hit the victory condition for a two-player game of the best of three or the best of five. If you were the last man standing, you win Showdown. Okay, and that's how you play Showdown. Okay, stop. Okay. All right. Hey, this is JT. So, I just wanted to get in before these two yahoos got into what they think about this game. And I wanted to let you know about an opportunity. So, check your calendar right now. Is it between August 29th, 2017 and September 29th, 2017? Well, if it is, you're in luck because there's a Kickstarter going on right now for this game for Showdown, the Samurai card game. So, take a look in the description below after we finish the video and click on that link and go check out their Kickstarter page. Okay, well, back to your regularly scheduled final thoughts. See you soon. So let's talk about the game for a minute and what we think. Uh, so Showdown, uh, it has a lot going for it when it comes to just having a light uh, family style card game. Uh, it is definitely something you're going to play over and over again. Now there's the two player uh, version of this as well as the, the multiplayer version of this. Um, which, did, which did you prefer, Evan? I, I prefer the two player more when it came to using the friendly fire aspect to it. Okay. So I, I really like the game, um, both two-player and multiplayer. Uh, the two-player part of it just being something where you're trying to do the best of three or the best of five. Um, it's kind of this back and forth. Um, that's a lot of fun. Um, but I really like the aspect of having kind of a, a larger um, multiplayer game where I'm now kind of picking and choosing who I'm going to go after. So there's a lot of metagaming that goes on, um, which can be fun when you have uh, groups of players that like to mess with each other and, um, and go after one another. It feels like um, uh, like you took the old game of war, um, the simplicity of that, and you uh, put it together with poker, and they had a baby. Okay, and <laughs> and that's this game of, of showdown. About the variant here, being able to put the decks together, um, so you can put a, the the Western theme of shootout next to the uh, the samurai or feudal Japan theme of showdown. So, what did you think of that, Evan? I thought that was pretty cool. Where you can you can have like. The cowboys versus the samurais, you know, they, and they have their they have their strengths and weaknesses, and you can kind of go against each other using that stuff. Right. Um, I I think it's great that you're able to combine the games. Um, <clears throat> there's really not much as far as trying to you know figure out the different rules to it. You just have to read some of these cards and make sure you understand uh, the differences in the card. Um, outside of that, it's it's integrates real easy. Um, I know the variants show like a two-player game where you can play against each other and kind of duel it out. You can shuffle the decks together and just simply use all of them together, noting that you know notoriety and familiarity are, are basically the same thing. Um, but I also we also did our own variant where we just decided who was going to be samurai around the table and who's going to be cowboys, and we just simply drew from those decks and just kept it consistent. That also worked as well, though that's not really an official variant. But I, I love the idea of kind of east versus west, um, where you have this kind of like Shanghai noon kind of situation going on. Um, so thematically, it really worked. Although I still really feel like balance wise, I think. I think that the samurai and the ronin actually have an edge. What do you think? Yeah, I'd say they're a little more powerful. 
Yeah, so I do like it. I mean, there are some actions and things you can do from the, the shootout perspective, uh, but I certainly enjoyed being able to put both of those together. It's a lot of fun. I definitely prefer Showdown over uh, Shootout. I think it's an improvement upon the original, and um, I certainly like the theming better, um, as well as the cards, I think, mess with each other a lot more. What did you think? I, I, I would say I, I did like overall the Showdown better than the Shootout. The, um, they, they do have a little bit different way of doing things. Like, I found uh, that the shootout seemed to have more of, like, actions to it. And you had more um, possibilities. Where with uh, the showdown, you had more of power. It was, you know, you had the big guys. Okay. There is kind of this tension that you have as you kind of going through and you're like, I really need to build up this hand, you know, like um, when you play a game like poker or, or some of these other games and you've only got so many turns in order to be able to pull off the hand that you're looking for. Whereas this is kind of variable. You could be going on for a long time and then you even have some tough decisions where you pull cards up and you go, I don't really want to get rid of any of these cards, but I have to discard something. Um, so it kind of builds up. And then as the table kind of slowly uh, whittles down to just two players, um, then it's kind of this mad dash to be able to get after it. I like the game. Um, I think it's light. Uh, it's certainly something that you can get done uh, quickly. It's easy to teach. Um, it's a good family game. Um, the only downside I've got on it is, is something I think they did intentionally, and that is around the art. I love the art. I thought the black and white looked really good. I thought the color looks fantastic. And I know what they were doing is they were trying to quickly distinguish between the uh, the more powerful cards over the less powerful cards. Not really a bad thing. It's just that I, I got so enamored with the colorful art that's in this game um, of Showdown that I really wanted to see it in color with the other ones. Um, but it doesn't take away from the game. I, it's just a nitpicking thing uh, that I have with the game at all. Um, but outside of that, I enjoyed it. So what is this game for? I would say kind of beginners. It, it can be used for people who are very experienced games, but for it's a good starting game, I would say. Yeah, I, I do enjoy the game for, uh, for what it's designed for. Um, it's certainly a gateway game. Uh, it has an opportunity to be able to mess with one another, so if you like those kind of things, um, this is certainly a game to go check out. Very simple, uh, light game, a lot of fun. We recommend it, so two thumbs up for me. Two thumbs up for me too. All right, or two katana blades up. <laughs> Uh, two shurikens. Two shurikens, okay. <laughs> All right, there you go. This video, hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you have any comments about what you think, hit in the comments below. Tell us, what did you think of the game if you played Shootout? Also, what did you think of Shanghai Noon? Was it a good movie? Or was it just Jackie Chan with Owen Wilson? Let us know what you think in the comments below. But hey, this has been JT. I'm Evan. And you've been watching G Club. <clears throat> it's killing me. Hello, my name is JT. And I'm Evan. What was that? Oh no. <laughs> you end up in this Kenny Rogers situation where you have to know when to hold them and know when to fold them, right? Mm -hmm. And then you gotta. Know when to walk away. No one to run. Right. Who didn't want to put, when they were younger, put G.I. Joe with Transformers, right? Um, who wouldn't want to put together, uh, you know, peanut butter and jelly? That already happened. That already happened. Oh, no. Okay. Anyway. Um... <clears throat>